How do you dovetail your shift into Steve Major's call for low interest rates? Yeah, good morning, Tom. I think it's probably the key question is really around the sequencing, right? Not so much where the end result is going to be. I think it's really a sequencing question. And with this really, really pessimistic uh, uh, you know, these pessimistic outlooks that we got both from the sell side and the buy side uh, in, in the last uh, couple of months, I think there is a very, very strong consensus. And it is my feeling that it's probably the most uh, concentrated consensus that we had ever since the end of 2017. You may remember back then we had this uh, idea of globally synchronized growth that really then went horribly wrong in 2018. And I think that's probably as much, you know, as much of a concentrated consensus as we've got right now. So therefore, what we're just, simply what we're saying is that actually against the backdrop of such a concentrated consensus, there's simply a lack of downside catalysts, a lack of downside surprises, and therefore the only way is up. So, Max, let's talk about that. So your words, super depressed growth expectations are key. Is there any evidence, Max, here that those growth expectations are captured in the price of markets right now? Yeah. And where are you seeing that? Yeah, I think so. I think when we look at market pricing, so we look at things like equities versus rates, we look at you know, equities versus rates against PMIs, equities versus fixed income, comparing that against break-evens across asset relationships or cross asset against macro relationships, all of that looks a bit more, you know, a bit more realistic now. And and I think one thing that I would say is it's it's not like we're super bullish, right? It's not like I'm saying, you know, growth is gonna go through the roof and it's gonna be rock and roll. The only thing I'm gonna say is, well, it's not gonna be a rocky horror. Show, right so uh, that, that's the only <laughs> thing that i'm saying that basically we're, we're not going to see such extreme pessimism and such ex against the backdrop of such extreme pessimism uh, you know you don't need an awful lot of positive surprises right to really make uh, risk assets get going a little bit uh, the upside in, in the first half of the year it could change in the second half of the year right when the yeah. ultimate uh, the ultimate level of inflation perhaps then is a bit sticky than thought but you know that's something for in six, nine months' time, not something to fret about right now.